Hey everyone, Complex back with another video and today we're going to be chatting about Greedfall's character creator. That's right, in case you didn't know, Greedfall has officially launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation and uh, and you too can go adventure in this newest RPG. And if we've been friends for any amount of time, you know that I'm stupidly obsessed with character creators. So let's, we're going to, that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and then I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks along the way in case you're having any trouble creating the ultimate character. But first, let me just mention that that little intro cutscene that you get um, that kicks off the character creator is actually probably one of my favorites to date. I like how they try to make it, I don't want to, like, I don't want to use the word immersive, but you know what I mean. Like, they definitely did try to make the character creator um, part of the game and I do appreciate that and I like how it kind of sets you up for who your character is and stuff like that. Now as far as the character creator itself goes there really aren't a lot of options. You're not going to be able to like move the eyebrow placement. You're not going to be able to um, to adjust your cheekbones or your nose or anything like that. You've just got basically face presets and then uh, you've got like hair, eyebrows, skin color, hair color, and eye color. Uh, and, and that's pretty much all you have to work with as far as customization options go. I will be brutally honest, the hairstyles in the game so far aren't some of my favorites. There are a couple that I do like. Otherwise, though, they're either too like wispy and they show weirdly um in certain lighting and I I don't like that personally especially for like screenshots stuff like that or they're just not my personal preference um my favorite is probably uh the one with the the side bangs in the front with the braid over top so that hairstyle though and a few of the others almost have this weird um like hair cap to the rest of the the face and scalp uh, lighting thing where it almost looks a little painted on and you can kind of see it when you're twisting and turning in the character creator um I haven't noticed it as much in game though it does seem to be very prevalent in the character creator and I think it's because of the lighting and the angle at which your character is looking so that's just something to note though that if that super 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 bothers you you might want to stay away from a few hairstyles if not like it normally would bother me and I gotta be honest like in cutscenes and stuff like that I haven't noticed it and that's normally something that I would uh, zero in on really quickly so there is that also though I will say the character creator has probably some of the most robust eye colors I've seen um with games that have like the um the sliders for the different eye colors. I'm pleasantly surprised by how many different eye color options there are. And I'm normally like a huge fan of like either picking like the greens or the purples or the um, like the silvery eye colors. I didn't notice any purples, but the silvers are very pretty in this game. And some of the greens, also the brown eye colors are very pretty. Sometimes it's very hard to make um like a brown eye color have a lot of like depth to it if that makes sense and they did a, a really good job with it in this game the other thing is the eyebrow options pretty on point there are quite a few I do wish I could adjust the eyebrows either higher or lower because the eyebrows are a little low for my personal preference but like I said earlier you can't make any of those adjustments unfortunately the hair colors aren't bad there is a wide array of them the only thing I noticed though is there's no like true redhead there's quite a few different like darker hair options and blonde hair options and um you also have like the like the super gray and stuff like that or like the really white hair color uh but there is no red red or like a like a jeweled red or a deep burgundy or anything like that so that's something to bear in mind if you normally prefer to play as either redheads or or something similar um but otherwise though I mean the character creator it is pretty much what you see is what you get now as far as some tips on helping you to create the ultimate character I will caution that I love the lighting in the character creator um I do like that it shows some shadows and some light but overall it is a very bright character creator compared to the rest of the game there are some very dark and shadowy parts of the game um and it definitely has a lot of like light to dark so if you step out in the sunlight it's you're gonna look almost like drastically different in some cases as far as color goes uh compared to when you're indoors or in a darker or shadowy area so I would actually suggest uh, making your character either hair color or skin color almost like one shade lighter if it's possible than what you're thinking you'd want to do 
Um, there are quite a few cut scenes right after you get out of the character creator, though. So like, um, right after there, like right after there's there's one, uh, and then there are a few more before you even uh, kind of get started in the game. So you have plenty of opportunity to see your character, uh, to make sure that you're enjoying how they look, and there are there's a variety of lighting within that. So the nice thing is you won't have played a lot of the game before you can decide on whether or not you actually like how your character looks. Uh, some of the hairstyles, by the way, do go both male and female. And then there are some that are just female and some that are just male. But overall, y'all, the character creator itself is exactly what it looks like. It's pretty basic, but I do think you can still make a pretty pretty character um I for one really do like actually how my character came out so I am pleased and I will say the one thing I forgot to mention as far as the hair color goes I'm really impressed that they managed to put highlights and lowlights in the the hair colors especially with the blondes it's not something that you see too too often I hope it's something that becomes more of a trend because I actually really like it when hair looks multi-dimensional because hair realistically is multi-dimensional you spend time outside in the sun or, you know, you go here or you go there or, you know, anything like that will kind of naturally change your hair color or you color your hair. So your hair is multidimensional. And I very much appreciate that you've got some highlights, some lowlights, and it has some dimension to it. It definitely brings more life um, to the hair. And I will say overall, one of the reasons I think they went with primarily shorter hairstyles or more up hairstyles is because hats, hats are a huge thing in this game. So if you're somebody that likes some really fancy hats, there's there's quite a few fancy hats for you in this game. So that that explains it. So in that way, all the hats so far with the one hairstyle I picked, the hats actually do look really good and they sit really well and I haven't noticed any clipping. Uh, so there's a bonus there. So that's pretty much just my thoughts on the character creator overall. And then I also wanted to make note when you're done with the character creator, and by character creator, I mean how your character looks, you will have access to picking your starting class, either warrior, technical, or magic. And this is just a to get you started point. The skill tree is pretty open-ended. You can pick any of the skills that you want down the road. So you're not locked into just being technical or just magic. You can definitely have a combination um, of talents kind of character. You do also get um, to look at the attributes and talent skill trees. You get one point for each and then when you get points for attributes and talents is gated to particular levels so you don't get a point for every level in those two um, particular trees. I will say as far as talents go one of the first things I put points into was charisma. I would suggest either charisma or lock picking to start. Both are super useful so pick whichever one you'd prefer. I personally like charisma because I don't know it's fun being able to charm people and and persuade them to 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 do what my character wants them to do kind of thing. So that's why I went that way. But overall, y'all, that is the character creator for Greedfall. I hope this helped if you had any questions or if you were just kind of looking to get a sneak peek into it before purchasing the game. If you have any questions on Greedfall or anything like that, leave it in the comments down below or find me on Twitch. I do stream most days. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night and or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I will catch you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.